Yo, what's good, y'all? Yeah, I wanted to uh, come and talk about a very serious subject, uh, talking about Trayvon Martin. Um, rest in peace, you know, um, Lord Jesus, bless this young man, you know, on this journey to you, in Jesus' name. You know, he was wrongfully killed. Uh, he had a lot of life to go, and his life was taken away from him because somebody was racial profiling, you know, which happens a lot in this country. You know what I'm saying? It happens a lot over the wor all over the world. But in this country where I live at, America, it happens a lot. You know, you go in the stores, people think you're going to steal stuff. You know, you walk uh, walk by different people, they think you're going to rob them. You know what I'm saying? It's like you guilty before proven innocent. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's a tough tough world, you know, and um, it's not all our fault. You know what I'm saying? It's not all our fault. It's really It really backfired. It backfired on the people who created this country, who wanted us to be slaves and to be beneath them and be two-thirds of a man, you know what I'm saying? It backfired on them in the way that the violence that, it, that they created through not giving us the things that we needed and the equal rights that we needed and the resources that we needed. Why are all these black people, the African Americans in this country, you know, so many of us, such a high percentage, are in poverty, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it shouldn't be like this. If it was equal rights, you know, and we've been fighting for justice, you know, and we had the civil rights movement in the 60s, you know, we're in 2012, and we're still fighting for basically the same things. Of course we have more equal rights, you know what I'm saying, uh, more opportunities, but yet it's still even these more, we had none at first, you know what I'm saying? So for us to be given, you know, s some now, it's still not all and we are asking for all because then Trey, um, Trayvon you know things like this won't happen to people good people you know that are, are law-abiding citizens such as himself you know so uh, it's, it's a tough situation out here you know with the racial profiling like I said because there are people you know that are African Americans but that are you know robbing and stealing and selling drugs and things but there are also white people you know what I'm saying? Caucasians that are stealing, robbing, selling drugs, doing drugs. You know, Mexican, Hispanic, um, every color, Asian, every color. You know what I'm saying? It's not a race thing. It's more of a, I think it's more of a poverty, you know what I'm saying, not, lack of resources thing. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, and I feel like we could correct that, you know, but I don't feel like America wants that to be corrected because they want... Yeah, young African Americans like Tray Trayvon Martin, they want him to get killed. They want people. They want. They want. They don't want him to be viewed as a good young man. They want him to be viewed as a thug, a killer, a, a drug dealer. Or, you know what I'm saying? No, he's a football player. He's going to school. He's going to college. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of Trayvon Martins out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Blake Fosters out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have never been locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't um, I haven't been a habitual lawbreaker. You know what I'm saying? I haven't. Um, I got arrested one time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that wasn't for, that wasn't for any, like, vicious crimes or violence or anything like that. You know, I made a mistake. My friend was driving my car. He hit somebody. And I, um, you know what I'm saying? I took the rap for that. And so I went to jail for him, you know, bump tapping somebody, you know, and I, I gave a false police, police report, you know. So um, that's that's my deal, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the only time. And and I told a police officer that one time when he pulled us over, you know, because like we were driving while being black, you know, in a uh, poverty, you know, drug neighborhood, you know, my neighborhood, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, and so we got stopped for being black, you know what I'm saying? Because we wasn't doing nothing wrong. Uh, so we got stopped. And then, uh, you know, I told him that. I was like, man, you know, I, only, I haven't really been, I have never been arrested or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He's like, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a surprise to the police officer that somebody from this area that lives here that, that you know, that they couldn't, you know, they, they could not be getting locked up and, you know, not have a bright future. You know what I'm saying? That, that I have a bright future. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't been locked up in those things, you know, so, you know, um, and I, I feel like I have to be, I want to be comfortable in my skin also, and, you know, I feel like we, as young black men, are not being able to be fully comfortable in our skin, you know, either we over the top with it, you know, I'm like, like, don't mess with me, you know, I'm proud of who, I mean, I'm proud of who I am, you know what I'm saying, of course, you know what I'm saying, I always will be, but it's always been that, 
inferiority, inferior, inferior, infer, oh my God, uh, inferior complex that they've tried to give us, you know, that we have to overcome. And when I say they, I mean the oppressor. Whoever that is, mainly white people, back in the days, you know what I'm saying, that set up this system, you know, if you can remember, KKK, all that stuff, people getting lynched, that wasn't too long ago. That was in, in the 60s, 70s, you know, and then they found a way to not give us the resources we need and put drugs in our community, you know what I'm saying? And and I, it's been on like a self-destruct thing, you know what I'm saying? Because we could always all be working together, but it really is like the crab getting out the bucket. So it's like, you know, we have we have to battle each other when it, it shouldn't even be like that. We should all be working together just like, you know, having businesses and hiring people and all those kind of things. Those are the things that... We're lacking, you know what I'm saying, and it causes us to go into selling drugs and robbing people and stuff because people got to eat, you know what I'm saying, people got to live, you know, and if that's the only source to get it, people going to do it, you know what I'm saying, and, and the oppressor, the white person, whatever you want to call it, like I say, there ain't no head black people up there, so that should tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Barack Obama, yeah, he's uh, the president. He's still not the highest source, regardless of what you think. I don't believe that he's the highest source. I don't believe he makes all the decisions. He still has to go to a committee in order to get laws passed and all those things. He can present the idea, but it's people above him, a committee that chooses to abide by that law or to change that law and things like that. So he's a part of it, but he's not the head person like you think. That makes all the decisions solely by himself, um, and so you know, like I said, you know, we 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 battling the racism still to this day, you know, and it's shown right here, you know, this man, this this young man was walking down the street, you know, chilling on the phone with his girlfriend, minding his own business, you know what I'm saying, and and this man called the people police 48 times, saying that it's a black man out here, he got a hood on, he looks like he's up to no good. This and that. So if that's the case, sir, why wouldn't you just follow the man? You've been told not to follow him. So even at that, you could have followed him from a distance. You didn't have to confront the man because he walking in his own neighborhood. That's why I say people scared to walk in their own neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? The little kids scared to walk in their own neighborhood. You know, we scared. We, we can't walk in the store and feel comfortable. I'm talking from, from myself. I'm a young black man. Can't walk in the store without feeling like it's eyes everywhere on you thinking you're going to steal something. You know what I'm saying? And while we wouldn't have to steal if we had good jobs. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have to. I'm, I'm just, I, ain't, I don't steal. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm, I'm an exception because... I just, the Lord blessed me not to, not to be, not to do those things, you know what I'm saying? Like, he blessed me to not, you know, not have to do those things or not have a desire to sell drugs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've over, I've been able to overcome that, you know, in my life, you know, but some haven't, and I don't judge them, you know, I still love y'all, and Jesus loves y'all, you know, you know, um, it's just the, fa the fact that we be poisoning basically poisoning our own or poisoning others with that with the dope you know what i'm saying there's a walking zombies out here everywhere you know what i'm saying there's walking zombies you know what i'm saying i'm looking at them i see them every day you know and it hurts me you know what i'm saying they don't know what's going on they don't know what they're doing you know but uh it's a lot of social ills that have to be corrected you know so this was a senseless killing you know um uh, because this man, this young man, didn't deserve it. And so many others, you know, ha haven't deserved it also, you know, like pulled over, harassed, you know, by the police and, you know, uh, just just beat, beat, beat down, you know what I'm saying, for being black. Like I said, man, we've been taking a lot of stuff for years, and then they want us to not react. They want us to be... Uh, quiet like a mouse, you know what I'm saying, when we be getting, been getting treated wrong all this time. And that's why our anger has built up so much also. You know, that's why people are lashing out, you know, especially when a white person, you know, shows them dis shows a black person disrespect. It's more than just them showing them disrespect at that time. They feel like some, t some people, I ain't speak for everybody, but sometimes they feel like it's just because of all that's been done to us, not just that one little time that you, spat, you know, start talking smack or whatever um, to us, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a whole 500, 600 years of, you know, being treated like this, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we built this country also. We get no credit for it, you know what I'm saying? We built, we, we, uh, we built a lot of this country, you know what I'm saying? We were to help. We were to help. 
you know what I'm saying, to, to build this country. Without us, it wouldn't be like it is, you know what I'm saying? So we generate a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? We are part of this, uh, you know, this social the social error, you know what I'm saying? And we get, we like I say, we don't get in respect, you know, like they don't value, you don't, okay, so look, if Trey, if Trayvon, if he wasn't a football player, if he wasn't in school and, um, you know, things like that, he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't even be on the news, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's not right. A person who, you know, even if they don't have such a bright looking future, doesn't mean that their life isn't important. You know what I'm saying? And that's where people is getting mixed up. You know, his life is, people's life is still important. There's so many people that's lost their lives besides Tray, Trayvon, you know. So God bless him, you know. And I just wrote this little poem, you know what I'm saying, uh, wrote it on 323.12. I wrote it for him, you know, and all the other slain people, you know, all the slain Af African-American, young African-Americans. Little boy shot for no reason, just because he's black, never to come back. What a senseless killing. Now, America, I'm challenging you. Are you willing to stop racial profiling? Not all African Americans are out here wilding. Kids scared in their own neighborhood, assuming little black boys are up to no good, all for wearing a jacket with a hood. The black man is always misunderstood. We just need equal opportunities and let's rise to social unity and demand our government to put money into our black communities tired of going to young black eulogies. This racism is what be fueling me to make a better future. Black people, we still have a fight, and it won't end until all our people are treated right. Trayvon Martin shined bright, and through his death, it shined a light on what young black males go through every day. Treated like a criminal, even if you're going the right way. But our oppressors will pay. God will have his vengeance before and on Judgment Day. I pray for the families of all these lost souls. Lord, heal their aching hearts. Fill the hole in their heart with your words more valuable than gold. Let them know it's okay. Give them strength, Lord. Don't let them slip away. And, uh, you know, in Jesus' name, I pray for all of y'all. You know, all of y'all that's been lost kids at an early age, you know, lost, you know, your family members, you know, to this senseless racism and violence, you know what I'm saying? And we all should be able to get along with each other, you know. We all should be able to get along with each other. We're humans, you know what I'm saying? We're human. We all originated, if you believe in the Bible, you know, we all originated from, from one source, you know what I'm saying? We all are family. You know what I mean? We all made in God's image. White, black, green, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yellow, whatever. You know, these are just division, man. We don't need the division. We need to come together and stop racial profiling. You know what I'm saying? How would you feel if that was your child? You know what I'm saying? How would you feel if that was your, your child that was in the black neighborhood because they white? You know what I'm saying? They, they get, you know, followed and caught, police called on them. And, you know what I'm saying, get roughed up and shot. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's a tough situation. And we don't want it on either side. We don't want that to happen on either side. So we have to have peaceful relationships everywhere we go. You know, and um, like I said, the, the racism, the racial profiling is on the half. It, it needs to stop. But in order for it to stop, we need to heal the things that are causing the racial profiling, causing the, the, the lash outs, you know, of the African American, you know, the, the anger that's built up, you know, because we being oppressed still to this day. And if you and if you don't believe that we're still being oppressed, then you're brainwashed. Believe that. If you don't believe that we're still being oppressed, then you're brainwashed. If you look out if you if you were born as an African American, ninety percent of y'all, I'm pretty sure, were born into a poverty situation. So just look at your neighborhood, look at where you might have moved out by now. But look at your situation. Look at what you where you grew up grew up at, and then you tell me. And you look at your friends, and you look at all the things. You look at all the things that are going on. And you tell me if you think that it's equal opportunity. And then you look. Then you take a look on the other side of town, and you look at where the white people grow up, and you look at where the white kids go to school, and you look at where the white kids what they driving and what they doing, and what the, what the businesses and colleges and all that they're going to. It's not because they're smarter. Not because they're smarter. They are smart, just like we are smart, because we're all.